Well, here it is, guys, and you can stick a fork in it because it's done. And I've got to say, wow. Well, look at that plane. I love the way this has turned out. Turned out. I, <laughs> I just knew that these these models were just going to turn out beautifully. They're so sharp and they're blue and white. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry, I. I had an attack of uh, attack of speechlessness. What, what can I say? What can I say about this city? Uh, like when I left you at the end of the last episode, um, I was kind of a, like a little bit worried that the place didn't really have any character. And while I was waiting for these uh, the, all of these models to to, to finally drop in. Um, I got to a bit of tinkering, and man, I got stuff to show you. And I, I tell you, you're gonna you're gonna fall in love with this place. Now, okay, so this is uh, obviously the, the 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 residential part of the city as a whole of Tamarin City. Okay, so we've got the the whole academy thing going on over here. This is the residential area. Now, this is Tamarin Island. This I'm going to rename to Tamarin North, and to be precise, this is the Tamarin City Northern District. Um, the locals call it the Bay, right? This is the Bay Area. Um, some people call this the Needles because of the because of the buildings. I guess that's kind of obvious. Um, now our uh, the hero of our stories, who I'm gonna I'm gonna call John be, because his name's John. Um, he lives in this building down here, uh, right on the end down here. I said I was gonna pick like this end or this end, and it's this end. It's this building right here, and he actually lives in the top floor, this duplex apartment up here. That's where he lives, okay. And uh, and he he quite likes it here because, like, being under the bay, on the end of the bay, uh, he can take nice walks down the shore where it's very secluded, and he can have a bit of privacy. He likes that, but um, you know, he he's not like massively fond of the city. It's all a bit antiseptic for, for him, you know, because he comes from a different part of the world where, you know, things are a little bit different. And uh, the whole, you know, the whole order and the, the uniformity of everything kind of freaks him out a bit, you know. But, um, but he has, you know, he's made a few friends because uh, the, the Academy have um, appointed somebody to look after him. Uh, and you'll you'll hear about her uh, when we get into the stories. But she's been showing him around a bit, and uh, he's made a couple of other friends. There's um, he he he's been looking around, and like I said, he, he you know he doesn't really like you know the the uniform. People are very straight laced here and whatever. And like this is uh, this is his local shop, and it's uh, you know very upmarket the people are very sort of just you know it's very straight laced you know what I'm saying so he found this one little place and this is where he goes for breakfast every morning and uh, it's owned by a guy called Sol and it's this little place down here that makes fresh bagels Sol's very very proud of his bagels and uh, and John goes here for for breakfast every morning, and he buys his groceries here as well. So that's um, that's Sol's place down there. Um, oh man, love these models. I mean, you can see now what I meant about these models, how these all point round, and like getting the spacing right and everything just makes them look 
pretty awesome from pretty much any angle. Okay. Um, I put in a I put in a ferry down here just for you know extra commuting option, and um, I even put the the tourist one in because we started getting some tourists. Why did we start getting some tourists? Because I put in uh, an attraction up here, which I'll tell you about in a second. But because I want to talk to you about this uh, this these roads. Uh, now somebody made a comment. He knows who he is about uh, putting a windy road up here and I ended up doing it when you know I was kind of done and then I started tinkering <laughs> you guys and your ideas so I ended putting this this road in and I've got to say let's go over here I, I really like how that turned out I think that's really awesome and I just put a little bit of scattered commercial which is which I think has turned out quite nicely there's a bit of commercial down here and then I started um, I started thinking about like these hills and how it must be quite nice to, to like go up into the hills and I thought well how about putting a little dirt road up here and then I kind of started looking at this a bit closer and there's a couple of very 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 small um, flat areas flat ish and I tell you what, guys, if, if you try and do this, man, you're going to struggle to get these buildings on here. It's, it's really, really tough. Um, but I started having fun, you know, with just putting little roads up here, like clinging to the edge of the, the cliff. It's kind of reminiscent of, like, um, the Amalfi Coast uh, in, in Italy. Well, they have th these kind of roads, which are just like built into the side of the cliff. Um, so anyway, I thought, how about we put um, an old church up on the hill? So I put the put this um, this church in, and I think that that goes really, really nicely. And um, this turns out to be. Uh, St. John's Church, and of course John um, kind of gets an, a, a bit of an affinity with this church, and he makes friends with the uh, the father who uh, who runs the church. Uh, but that's that's another story. Uh, and then um, this girl, whose um, whose name is Ginny, by the way, which is um, short for Virginia, uh, she takes him hiking up in the hills and. Uh, you know, they go and visit the church, and then they go up to the old windmill, which is um, the oldest building in the region, this, which um, I've got to say I really like. I really like this model. But um, they go up here, and um, John ends up finding a spot up here um, where he likes to go and uh, sit up here and watch the trains and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, and there's a train. Talk of the devil. Well, uh, just you've got to be quick to see them. Uh, I've decided that I really like this spiral. I think that, yep, decided I, I really like that. I was really in two minds, and then I decided, no, I like it. Um, okay, university in there. I took out the dorm, and I ended up putting in the school of law. Um, but I'll run through all of the, like, technical details in a bit I just want to show you the the kind of the, the bits and pieces um, the bit of industrial you know about the bit of industrial that I put in there that's all matured nicely I've kept it, it some of it was going to high density and I decided to scale it back and just keep it as medium um, I threw in a tiny bit of low wealth down here just these four buildings and then up this end there's a little bit of medium wealth, and I threw that in, that in just for kind of a little bit of diversity more than anything else. Um, haven't, to be honest, like done much to the roads and stuff. Um, we've got, I put in an extra bus terminal, so we've got a bus terminal there and there. And I kind of like the symmetry of that. And they actually surprisingly don't look bad. 
which really, really surprises me. Uh, what else? What else? Um, this hasn't changed. That's still the same. Um, police station there. I kind of tinkered actually with um, the fire station. I moved the fire station over to here. And where, the, where on earth did I put the clinic? The, oh, yeah, on the clinics there. So I f just found that little bit of space there, and I thought, yeah, okay, we'll move them over. I straightened this road up just a touch, just to make, to, you know, get it, uh, take advantage of the space. Um, what? What else? You know, just putting in this little bit has just added that little touch of character to the place. Really like that, and just this. You know, little bit of commercial, just so there's a little bit of difference. Now, probably the biggest change um, from when I left you at the end of the last episode is um, putting in all of these ground scrubbers, because I, I'm just sick of Millennium Parks. We've got two. Um, there's one there, and there's one. Oh, there it is. One there. But I'm, I just got tired of them. You know, like one or two, okay, I can live with. But like, you know, when you put a bunch of them in, you know, they just, they're, they're so obvious with the, with the holograms. and ah. So I decided, you know, get rid of that. And I was going to use ground scrubbers. So I put in loads of ground scrubbers. And I've got to say, I, I actually like how they line the streets. Man, this must be a clean place. And of course you get all of the academy symbols. It's like you can't walk 10 feet without seeing an academy symbol in this town. Which again, we'll probably pick up in the stories. But again, moving on.